Okay, everybody, let's welcome the back-to-back -back team champions. We have Live Golf Singapore champs, Ripper GC. Welcome, guys. We're joined by our captain, Cam Smith, Mark Leishman, Lucas Herbert, and Matt Jones. Congratulations, guys. How awesome does it feel to be back-to-back -back champs? I'll start with you, Matt. <laughs> yeah, um, it's amazing. Um, last week was a very special week for us, but to come out here this week and do it again, it's, it's really special. Um, this team, they play like Maximus Decimus Meridius, <laughs> and uh, it was just amazing just to be part of it. Mark, what are your thoughts? Yeah, obviously an awesome week. Um, you know, in individually for me and Cam, it was obviously a great week. Um, looked like we were cruising there in the team stuff until I hit it in the Ganguly there on, on one on the right and didn't quite get it out, but um, yeah, managed to make that good part for bogey and um, finish it off all right. So it was really happy to get across the line there with the team and um, yeah, good week, good two weeks really all round. Cam, you went on a heater today. You shot seven under, and it really helped you guys secure the victory. Tell us a little bit about your day and what gave you that extra motivation. Um, I, I think it was nice to um, be on the other side of that. You know, last week I was the worst scorer of the whole group, and today I was the best scorer. So um, it was nice to be on the other side of that, helping the team out. I felt like I was, I was dragging a little bit last week, but... Um, yeah, it was a it was a really good game. Game starting to feel really nice. Um, just need to kind of match everything up um, like I did today uh, for the rest of the season, and um, I'm, I'm sure myself and, and and this team will be up there. Um, yeah, so I'm looking forward to the rest of the season for sure. It's like everyone's hanging on your every word, <laughs> Lucas. You are the newest member of Team Ripper, and you guys have now secured back-to-back -back championships. What do you think that says about you as the addition to the team? <laughs> I don't think I can take all the credit for uh, why Ripper GC is playing so well, but um, you know, it was, it was obviously great to watch these two to my right here um, playing the way they did in front of me today. I was obviously didn't have my best stuff, so for them to to play like that and carry the team through, um, yeah. There's probably a reason why Ripper GC has, has won the last two weeks, and I'd say uh, there's a reason Cam's a captain too. Can you tell us a little bit more about that, how Cam is as a leader and a captain? I mean, he's pretty cruisy. Um, we, don't, uh, we don't have to answer to too much. I think as long as, as, long as all of us are practicing um, and working at things the right way, uh, I don't think he's got an issue with... With where, with where Ripper's going to go. Uh, he trusts all of us to, to get all our work done as we need to. And, um, you know, once we get to the tournaments, it's like we just go and have a lot of fun together. It's not, there's not a lot of critiquing of each other of, of what we're doing. He did, so, he did send out a text yesterday before we went out and played after that long weather delay, which I wouldn't think many other co uh, captains would have sent out and said, go and enjoy it, boys. Um, it was, I don't think many other captains would have said that, texted their team that. Cam, how does it make you feel to hear all those nice words about you? Very nice. Thank you, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so I get to spend a lot of time with the different teams, and I have to say you guys definitely seem like you're all great friends and you're generally, like, genuinely out here having a good time, even regardless of how you play. Mark, do you think that's part of the, the winning formula for Team Ripper? Yeah, definitely. Uh, it certainly doesn't hurt. Um, I mean, I can't speak for the other boys, but I'm genuinely excited every time I go to an airport now to come to a tournament. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's not a fib. Um, <laughs> I actually am. It, it feels like we're... Um, obviously, it's very serious golf, and we're playing for... A, there's a lot on the line, and, um, you know, you're playing for each other, but um, it almost feels a little bit like we're going on a boys' trip every mm -hmm. time we go to a, um, to a golf tournament, which I love. Um, obviously, we've got a you know, pull the reins in every now and again if we get a bit excited. But, um, yeah, it's, it's awesome to be travelling the world with, with these lads. So a little birdie told me you guys partied for about 48 hours after your win last week. Are you guys going to top that this week or are you going to go a little bit more low-key, Cam? I think we're all heading home, to be honest, <laughs> so it might be a bit hard to do it by ourselves. I think it was great fun to do it as a team and there was a lot of um, enjoyment in, in those uh, drinks. But... Um, I think we've had a long couple of weeks and probably looking forward to getting back to our families for these guys and, um, you know, getting some, some rest and getting some sleep. 
I think the plane ride's about 48 hours, though, so we might, <laughs> we might, we might top it. Who knows? Will somebody <laughs> film it this time with your cameras? <laughs> Thank you, guys. Congratulations. I'll kick it over to Mike. So how exactly did you guys uh, exactly battle the hangover, maybe figuratively or literally, um, you know, the since winning in Adelaide? Because obviously that was a huge thing for you guys. Uh, did you feel like it was a... It was a massive challenge coming into this week? Yeah, I think it was certainly a challenge. Um, it might have been a blessing in disguise. I mean, yes, we partied pretty hard for a couple of days, but then we, we all had Tuesday off. I don't know if many of us left our hotel rooms. Um, <laughs> and I think conserving energy this week was um, pretty important, particularly for the end of the week when everyone's worn out. And I mean, we were worn out, but I think we just taking it so easy early in the week might have helped us just to have a, that little bit of mental strength that it took to get across the line. So um, it m may or may not be the case, but I'm, I'm going to put it down to that. Cam, were you worried about the hangover effect coming into this week for the team? Um, I think uh, last week was definitely a big week. I think it was uh, very energy-consuming and everyone was, everyone was just tired, um, given the win. Um, had a few beers, like Leash said, had Tuesday off. But, um, no, I, I wasn't concerned. We'd all played this golf course before. Um, we'd spoke about the golf course. We all liked the golf course. I think it's a, um, it's, it's a very tough driving golf course, but once you get in the fairway, you actually have to hit some different shots, which we all love doing. So um, I wasn't concerned about how we were going to do this week. I think um, we probably got a, a, a little bit of a kick up the butt on... On Wednesday, we did some, uh, we did a chipping drill and then did a, a putting drill on, on Thursday. But um, just to kind of get the the things ticking over and getting the mind kind of um, competitive and active again. So yeah, it was. Um, no, I, w I wasn't concerned. These guys are the best at what they do, and um, they showed it again this week. Matt, is it nice to 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 show that you guys don't need. 90,000 fans to, to actually win out here that you can, you, you know, that you guys can win on any course any time? Uh, yeah, I mean, it was great to win in Australia in front of the home fans, but we had plenty of Ripper fans out here too. Um, it's a pretty easy flight from Australia, and I think there are, there are either expats or a lot of people travelled up here, so it was, uh, it was great to have Ripper fans out here again this week, and um, hopefully there's more and more. The more we play, there's more Ripper fans everywhere we go. And Lucas obviously is a bit of a different Sunday than than a week ago. How did you deal with it? How were you dealing with it during the day, knowing that things weren't always going right, but at the end of the day, your your score was still going to count? Yeah, I think it's probably something I've worked on a lot recently. Is is really trying to grind out those those bad rounds as much as I can and, and get as much as I can out of some of those really poor days and. I don't know that I've played much poorer this year than I did today. So <clears throat> to be able to drag out, you know, it, three over was, was a good score for me, realistically. Um, so to drag that out of, of today um, was, was quite... There was a lot of self-satisfaction in that. Um, it was made a little harder watching these boys just having a ripper of a round in front of me. Um, it was, you know, six, seven under. Like, I, I didn't have that in me today, but... Um, trying to really stay focused on what I had in front of me, and, and I knew that, you know, they were going to keep making birdies as long as as long as I didn't make us go backwards, and they were trying to trying to cancel out my mistakes. Um, just try to just try to keep it on the straight and narrow as much as I could, um, and yeah, not uh, not throwing a double or a triple where we didn't need it. And Cam and Mark, how much was it today? as you were trying to chase down Brooks, were you really concentrating on that part or was it more where you were with the team? How, can you kind of take us through your perspective uh, during the course of the round today? Yeah, I think, um, you know, at, at the start of the round for me, I was really kind of out of the golf tournament. It would have taken something pretty special to go and chase Brooks, but um, probably, you know, with seven or eight holes to go, I was I was closer than I thought I was going to be, and um, then started to just um, probably aim at a few more pins than I maybe wouldn't have. Um, 
tr you know, trying to win the golf tournament. So I think there was a, an element of both for myself. Um, I think Leash was a couple shots, you know, uh, north of me uh, this morning. But um, I, I really wanted, um, I really wanted the team to win. But at the same time, I, you know, I got so close that it was, it was hard not to think about that as well. So, um, yeah. Mark, did you did you think? Yeah, early on I was focused on both, um, and then uh, I was a fair few back, switched over to the team, you know, looked, saw the team was going pretty well, um, and then I made a few birdies there, sort of, what a birdie, seven, well, but yeah, a few probably with five, you know, six, seven, eight holes to go, um, and then I switched back to the individual, but it was sort of, it was, it was both, I was, yeah, it was... Um, Pretty cool to, to have those two leaderboards and, and watching them um, sort of simultaneously and trying to see what Cam's doing in the group ahead of me and you know, where, where the team is and where I am individually. It's a, it's a, it's a good concept. I mean, I think it's, it's yeah, it brings that extra aspect to it. And one last question for me. Cam, you, you mentioned this on TV, but you said there was, you, you worked on your hip, was it, uh, earlier this week? What was the issue there? Is it that bad? Um, no, not really. Um, it just flares up from time to time. I've had it probably uh, come off and on for the last probably two years. And um, I think given the heat and how soft the ground was, it was just working a little bit over time and um, got a little bit sore that, that first day and, and struggled to get into the left side. But um, Nick did a great job. He fixed me up and um, I was ready to go the weekend. So, um, yep, it's all good. Thanks. Okay, over here. Cam, hi. Uh, just in terms of being the captain of this team, then, uh, have you, you know, because Australia's got some pretty good teams, so have you picked the brains of any of, you know, like the, the cricket guys or some of the rugby guys just to how they approach captaincy? Um, a little bit. I wouldn't say I've gone in depth. I think uh, maybe over a couple of beers, ask a question here or two, but it's not... Um, it's not kind of how to run a team or how to manage a team. I think, um, you know, these guys have been professionals for starters, you know, for 20 plus years, a couple of them, and, um, you know, seven years. So it's, it's hard to come in and, and really tell them what to do. They all know what they need to do. They know what their job is. Um, I just got lucky that I have probably three of the cruisiest guys in the world that I've got to look after and, um, you know, Besides, maybe let's do a putting drill from time to time. It's um, it's really not that hard for me. These guys kind of take care of themselves. And, and obviously, the momentum is everything when you're winning. So, would you almost like to be playing again next week? I think we've had a long couple of weeks. Um, Adelaide was very energy consuming, as I said before, and um, this week was just so hot. Um, I think it's taken a lot out of everyone. Um, it's probably a good thing to have a couple of weeks off, but, um, you know, it'll be another hot one in Houston. Uh, we all love the heat. Um, I think we've all played that golf course before, and, um, yeah, so we're looking forward to getting there and keeping the momentum rolling. And is there a different level of expectation then going into Houston now? Not just for you, but from, I guess, from the other teams as well. Um, yeah, I mean... Uh, I kind of knew all year that um, we were going to get the, the ball rolling at some point. Um, I, I, I think internally that we're the best team out here and um, we're going to be tough to beat when we all have our best stuff. And, um, you know, although a couple of our guys didn't have the best stuff today, there was um, also Leash and I that stepped up and it was the same last week. I didn't have my best stuff on, on Sunday, but the other guys stepped up to the plate and and really did a good job. So, um, yeah, I think we're going to be tough to beat the rest of the season. I, did, I didn't see the celebration. Was there a Singapore shoey out there or not? Yes, it was rank. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Cam, I was going to ask, can you guys tell us why you don't have shoes on? Yeah, I mean, I... Uh, the quality of Footjoy shoes really come into their own this week. Um, I did a shoey out of mine on Sunday. It was good to go by Wednesday. Held up all week perfectly. Uh, another shoey today. Um, 
I signed it and handed it off into the crowd. It was just, uh, it was on its last legs, to be honest. And um, yeah, it's, uh, even, even though I've had a couple of winters, they're only a couple of weeks old, so <laughs> I feel like maybe I should go get them back, to be honest. How does a shoey after wearing your shoes for three rounds in the Singaporean heat taste? <laughs> I said to the boys, I'm like, surely we've got to lo- draw the line somewhere, don't we? <laughs> They're like, no, nah, we're doing it. I'm like, all right. So, <laughs> so we did. It was pretty ordinary. Yeah. Warm shoe. Yeah, it was. Yeah. I mean, as expected, I guess. <laughs> Congratulations, guys. Good luck in Houston. We'll see you then. Thank, Thank you. We'll have the cam shirt on Wednesday in Houston. It'll be a ripper. <laughs>